Hi friends, I'm Emily and this is Ink Not Blood. And we're doing a reading vlog today, which I've never done before, so we'll see how this goes. So today is my Magic Girl Squad reading vlog. I picked up three graphic novels from the library that all center around some kind of group of girls with magic powers who are saving the world and all that jazz very Sailor Moon, which I am totally into. So the graphic novels I picked up that I'll be reading today are Mysticons, The Crystal Cadets, and Zodiac Star Force. I'm really excited to read them all and to kind of see how they compare in terms of plot and powers and all those things. So I wanted to go into this adventure having some questions in mind that I would then answer at the end of the vlog. So after I've read all three, I have to rank them from most favorite to least favorite and tell why. I also have to say which character's power I would most like to have. Out of all the characters across all three graphic novels, I have to pick the one that I think is most like me, and I have to choose which graphic novel has the best villain. I am so pumped to dive into all three of these graphic novels this afternoon, but before I get into my reading day, it's time for me to go make some magic with my own girl squad. So that was a little taste of roller derby for you. Um, so I skate for Ann Arbor and uh, we're really lucky in that we have the Detroit League pretty close to us. So for me, it's only like a 40 minute drive to the venue where Detroit practices. So this was just a scrimmage, basically just practice, didn't count for anything. Um, and it's just a way for us to kind of get into the groove of things before our season actually starts in April. Definitely let me know if you enjoy seeing some of the roller derby stuff because I spent a lot of my life doing roller derby. So if you want to see more of it, I can definitely make that happen. All right, now it is time to head home and pick up those graphic novels. Let's go. Oh, it feels so good to be clean. Seriously, there is nothing quite like having this derby stink on you. Not only your stink, but the stink of other people. Contact sports, man. So now that I am clean and no longer very smelly, I am going to get reading. So I have, um, I have the graphic novels and I have some snacks and I have some tea and I am ready to go. I think what I'm gonna start with is Mysticons. Um, because this is the one that I'm most excited to read. The writer of the story is Kate Leth, who is amazing. If you don't know about Kate Leth, she is a writer and cartoonist. She is fabulous and you should definitely follow her on Instagram because she takes the best selfies ever. Seriously, she's just gorgeous. I became familiar with Kate Leth through Buffering the Vampire Slayer, which is a podcast hosted by Jenny Owen Youngs and Kristen Russo, where they're watching every episode of Buffy and they do a podcast and a song for every episode. So also if you like Buffy and you've never heard of that, check it out. Kate Leth is a regular guest on their podcast. She does their fashion watch and talks about all the wonderfully 90s clothing worn in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Anyway, so I love Kate Leth, she's amazing, and I'm really excited to dig into Mysticons. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm about halfway through 
Um, starting to get a feel for the characters, who's who. I'll read you just a little bit from the intro. Drake City, multicultural heart of Gemina and home to the Mysticons. These four warriors, sworn to protect the realm from harm and guard the magical dragon disc from evil, are fast asleep. So that kind of gives you an idea of who the Mysticons are. Right now they are trying to track down a couple thieves who have turned out to be these really rad looking biker chicks. Um, and I had to stop and show you guys because they just transformed into their Mysticon forms for the first time. And it's super rad and I wanted to show you guys. So we have Mysticon Dragon Mage, who is some kind of princess. Mysticon Ranger, who has some kind of dark past that they haven't elaborated on yet. Mysticon Striker, who is actually an elf. And she's kind of the fun-loving, very spontaneous and imaginative one in the group. And we have Mysticon Knight, who seems to be pretty cool, easygoing, charismatic. So I love this. They clearly each have their own weapon, and I think they also kind of have their own powers. So I'm really excited to see what that kind of team dynamic is like. All right, I'm gonna keep reading, but I definitely need a snack. <laughs> I should have finished chewing first. Oh my God, and now they're writing Griffins. I'm seriously here for this. Okay, so that's it. I just finished Mysticons. As you can see, this one's really short. Um, it's definitely just like an intro to the story. Some of the characters, I didn't even get really a full feel of them. Um, I'll definitely want to be checking out the second volume at some point. You get introduced to a conflict, but there's no resolution in this volume. And you don't even get to see them all use their weapons. I was so bummed. You really only see one of them using their like magic weapons. And one of them, I don't even know what it does. It's like a glowing golden ring and she didn't even use it. Oh, what, what is that? So I liked it, but I'm not in love with it. I think there's a lot of potential in this one, but honestly, it's hard to tell from just this one little volume. So I'm gonna move on. Next, I'm going to read Crystal Cadets. You can't really see the front because they put this, this thing on here because I got this from a different library in my state. And uh, all right, let's do it. So I am about halfway through Crystal Cadets and I really like it so far. I like it better than Mysticons. Granted, it's probably about twice as long as Mysticons, so it's got a lot more room to work with. So these girls belong to a line of protectors and they each get power from a gemstone. Um, so this kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, Steven Universe plus Power Rangers. Um, so they each get their power from a gemstone and they can each summon some kind of magical creature, which is pretty cool. I just feel like this one is doing a lot better of a job explaining what's going on and what the background of the cadets is. Um, so I feel a lot more interested and a lot more invested. Plus I like magical creatures, so that is helping too. David is making me some macaroni and cheese <laughs> and I'm gonna get back to reading. Okay, so I'm all done with Crystal Cadets. I really like this one. I There were a few things that I thought were not really explained very well, um, but overall I thought it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of action. I love the different magic powers and watching the characters learn how to use them. That was really fun. Um, and obviously the magic creatures that they summon are awesome. And yeah, I can tell that there is a lot more to um, the Crystal Cadets and their backstory and the kind of like line of protectors that they come from. Um, so I am interested to pick up the next volume and to see how much more they go into that. I'd love to know more about the history of it and, and like the lore. Yes, 
Would recommend this one for sure. David's here joining me too. He's reading. What you got there? To be a machine. It's pretty good so far. Cool. <laughs> so that's two down, one to go. So I'm going to grab Zodiac Star Force and get started on that. Uh, one last thing I forgot to mention is that Crystal Cadets is actually illustrated by Katie O'Neill, whose work I really, really love. So if you've read um, The Tea Dragon Society or Aquacorn Cove, both of those are Katie O'Neill. I love her style, um, and so far this one has been my favorite in terms of art. Okay, so now let's actually move on to Zodiac Star Force. It is now the day after all of my Magical Girl Squad reading. I really enjoyed reading all of those graphic novels yesterday, but I did take a break from filming towards the end, so I wanted to go ahead and close it all up now. So the last one I read was Zodiac Star Force, which actually ended up being my favorite one out of all three. I thought that it was really fun and really well done. I loved the art and the characters. It also had a really good story. One of the things that I thought was lacking in the other graphic novels was a clear and concise storyline with solid background and a good plot. Granted, Zodiac Star Force was also the longest of the three, but still, I think it was the best one. So Zodiac Star Force follows this group of high school girls who all had powers bestowed upon them by this goddess. So they are Zodiac Star Force cadets. When the graphic novel opens, they're like juniors in high school, and they allude to some adventure they had had the previous year, where they had defeated some nemesis, and afterwards they had basically taken a break. They'd broken up as a group. So at the beginning of the graphic novel, a new monster appears, and they basically have to get the group back together to figure out what's going on and fight these evil monsters. I won't tell you too much more, because you should definitely go and read it. But the characters were awesome. I really loved all the interactions, all the different relationships. There was a queer romance, which I really liked. And there was just a lot in it about teamwork and friendship. And overall, it was just really great. So at the beginning of the vlog, I said that I would answer a few prompts. So let's go through those now. The first was to rank all three of them. And basically my reading order was least favorite to favorite. So my favorite was Zodiac Star Force. My second favorite was The Crystal Cadets, and my least favorite was Mysticons, unfortunately. I do think that Mysticons might get better, but that issue was just so short, and I just didn't get enough to really feel invested. The next one is, which character's power would I most like to have and why? Ooh, this is a tough one, but I think I'm gonna go with Zarya from Mysticons. So she's the Mysticon Ranger. She's got this bow that shoots lightning arrows, which is pretty cool. No. You know what? No. I take it back. I'm- ooh. Hold on, I think I changed my mind. Okay, so actually I'm gonna go with Melina, the Sapphire Cadet from Crystal Cadets, because she, well, I'm already a waterbender, hello, and that's her power. Her power in the Crystal Cadets is she uh, can manipulate water, and she can summon a Leviathan, which I really dig, so I want that power. <laughs> The next question is to pick which character is most like me. And this one was really hard because I didn't find myself identifying really strongly with any of them. But then I got to Zodiac Star Force and I met Kim, who I really love. So Kim is the one at the beginning who is trying so hard to get the team back together again. She's really invested in the team as a unit and really believes in her friends. Plus, I really love her style. It 
honestly makes me think of roller derby. Like she's got like the cut off vest and she wears the thigh high socks and little shorts. I love it. So yeah, Kim is definitely my pick. The last question is which graphic novel had the best villain? And this is another one that's going to have to go to Zodiac Star Force. Another reason that it was my favorite movie because I thought the villain was interesting and had a lot of layers and also had a lot of minions. So there were a lot more characters that you got to see. Yeah, I don't wanna to say too much cause I don't wanna give anything away, but I'm giving that one to Zodiac Star Force. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see me do more vlogs like this, I don't usually do very many vlogs. I feel really awkward talking to a camera without it being scripted. <laughs> so hopefully this went okay and editing is not going to be a nightmare. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more content like this from me, let me know. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Don't mind me. Okay. Just here talking normally right. like a normal person. Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs>